Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum performed quite well today. I mean, Bitcoin didn't perform poorly either, but um, Ethereum did, did outperform Bitcoin today. And you might be wondering why. And Ethereum broke above my initial resistance, which is always our signal that something different is going on. So we want to talk about the structure. Had to change the microstructure a little bit. So my initial idea um, <clears throat> had to be revised. I'm going to explain that. There is, there is a reason for it um, from a chart point of view. So we want to take a look at that. I'm sure there are people who find fundamental reasons as well. But I don't know, probably the ETF or something. Um, but if we take a look at the ETH BTC chart, that's the chart reason. You will know that, or you, will, you might remember from previous updates where I showed the ETH BTC chart, that ETH is, was, was <laughs> in a support region. And I explained it in one of the signals I sent to the gold members a few days ago. I might have posted it on Twitter. I can't remember, to be honest, that um, the wave count to the downside, this pullback is basically technically complete and that, that a reverse it should happen very, very quickly um, or very, very soon. And ETH BTC tries to form a low there. It tries to form a low. It's too early to come to obviously to to confirm. It's only really a green candle, but I can tell you that it's more than that. It's just um, it's turning around exactly where it needs to. Really, you know, turns around exactly where it needs to. It's in the support region. It nearly hit the golden ratio. Um, I've just found that signal that I sent um, a few days ago, Friday. It was to gold members. It was the price has reached the communicated support zone now. I'm watching if a bounce or reversal occurs in this region between 0 0.05057, which is obviously here, the 78.6 retracement level, and 0 0.05423, okay? Um, there is currently no sign of a reversal. Well, that was Friday. Where were we here? I think when it entered this support area, made a marginally lower low, created a bullish divergence, and today it reacted. Um, well, the last sentence was, this does not mean the price has to reverse, but it is something to watch for in this region. And I think exactly that happened. We've been watching for it. Obviously, whenever that is the case, we just need to be very much, we need to pay attention to this. Um, obviously, you will really only know that a low is formed once it is formed. All you can do besides that is to point out where to look for a low, where to pay attention. Okay, um, and that's basically the yellow area. So it's done what it needs to do. Now it obviously needs to rally a little more to really um, give us more confidence that it lowers in on the ETH BTC chart, which basically means that Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. It is another attempt started here already. Okay, remember that, I mean, this chart is respecting the Fibonacci levels really well. Um, most recently that was in January, early January. We also had a reject rejection or reaction to our um, support zone, target zone here. And the wave count was also technically complete. Then we've seen a nice reaction, hit the trend line, came down only in three waves so far and could be moving now. So the next level is, okay, what are the levels to watch and what would be an indication that indeed the third wave is starting here on this chart? Um, it would be a break above 0.056. I think that would give it, you know, add more confidence to this because at the moment this is literally just a green candle. So just wanted to give you the, let's say the chart explanation. Um, we certainly had it on the radar that a reversal is at least very likely. And that also caused the ETH USD chart here to spike a little bit while the market is generally a little bit more optimistic. Um, ETH, yeah, basically broke out of resistance. Now that always tells us something different is going on. It unfortunately means that you know, where we talked about in the previous video that I don't I don't trust this five wave move to the upside yet. It means, unfortunately, that Ether um, with it breaking higher, it's certainly not a five wave move anymore now because the third wave simply extended. OK, or it's just an ABC structure that's possible, which is why I've got this white B wave. So let's talk about the short term bullish and short term bearish scenarios. The idea is still that a wave one, as you know, topped here on the 9th of December. With that break above initial resistance, we might now carefully assume that a wave two bottomed, but it's unclear at this stage still because the market has so far not been able to produce a five wave move up of the recent lows. So it's all something we are watching for and so on, but this looks pretty much like corrective price action. 
Doesn't mean it's bearish, but it means we cannot confirm a low in place. It needs to give us five waves up, three waves down. Um, so at the moment, we are likely still in the third wave, or again, it could be an ABC structure. The third wave could um, top soon. I'll give you some levels to watch. Um, but again, it depends on where do we put the wave one. Could be here, could also be here. Yeah. I think that's where I what I showed you in the previous video as one of the possibilities there. Well, if the wave one is here, it doesn't really look right though. Would be an ABC in wave one, wave two, then this would be an ABC. Could still stretch higher. I will give you I will give you the higher target and then we'll take a look at um, how it's developing. It doesn't really have the right look though, but you never know how this develops. Let's try that actually first. Um Yeah, okay, I'll leave it where it was before. It just doesn't have the right look at this stage. I might move it later. It doesn't matter so much now. Um, it reacted also to the 200% extension level now. So that's a healthy third wave. If it stretches further, we've got the 2,427 level to watch. Um, okay, above that level. Let me add the 2.618. It's 2,454 if it needs to get there in a third wave. That's certainly a key resistance for the, the third. Then we should get a fourth and a fifth if we want to see a five wave move, obviously, right? Um, until then, this could be some kind of a B wave. So I'm very much watching that as well in parallel until we have a complete five wave move up, three wave pullback. There isn't really a reliable setup here in the short term, but that's the short term bullish scenario in yellow. Um, Obviously, to keep that idea alive, okay, we should also add the support area for a wave four, because the wave four could literally start at any time. Um, I will only fix it on the chart once the third wave top can be confirmed, but support at the moment would be $2,250. Okay, so I'll leave it on the chart, uh, wave four, and I have to, obviously, as you know, add the golden ratio if we are dealing with a diagonal so support, ideal support is between 2,333, that would be very shallow, and 2,250, which would be very deep. So ideally somewhere between um, these levels. And yeah, that's sort of what I'm watching at the moment for ETH. That's short-term bullish. What's short-term bearish? Short-term bearish would simply be here either, yeah, it, would, it would probably be something like an A, B, C structure in three waves. Um, in which this was A, B, C of a larger A wave, then an A, B, C in a B wave, and this is now some kind of a C wave. Yeah, and I mean, okay, if we measure that, I mean, any resistances, targets, because there are different ways how this can be counted, but here would be the 100% extension would be relevant. Okay, we've overcome that. Next one is the 1.618 extension, and there's that's a 2,431. So there is Fibonacci confluence there. There is Fibonacci confluence there around 2,430 in that white resistance zone there that I've put on the chart. Maybe I should put that, yeah, let's let's change the color to red because it's a bit of a resistance area there, isn't it? And um, that's all I can do right now here. I don't know what that is. Okay. Yeah, at least it gives us a bit of a resistance area to watch. Obviously, further extension is always possible, but I want to visualize here where the price might get rejected. So yeah, certainly um, looks interesting. Bear in mind, tomorrow we have a little bit of volatility probably come in as well because of the Fed Day interest rate decision. So yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership also. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.